All right, welcome back to the lab session. In this particular session, we're going to deal with the hands-on um, practice of the concept that we've learned so far. And then um, most of them we will see in this particular project, and some of them too we will encounter as we progress in the course, okay? So um, without much ado, let's get started. With the data that we're going to use is actually um, an insurance company data, which is, I mean, uh, data about your customers, right? So we're actually going to consider this data. So we have... Um, a particular a particular insurance company and then um we have we have customer information right we have customer information regards to this um this particular this particular insurance company so we're going to use this kind of information to drive some insights with regards to the statistical concepts that we've learned so far all right so let's um let's see some of the some of the attributes that we'll be encountering in this um in this in this kind of a hands-on practice so um before before i walk you through this before i walk you through these um these attributes let me actually show you how the data set is then i'll come back here and then um explain these attributes to you all right so um let's let's first see the data right so if you've gone through the previous videos right if you've gone through the previous videos the first thing that you're supposed to do in order to actually um, get your data into the Jupyter Notebook and start making any, um, any, any exploratory data analysis on, is to, to first load the various libraries that you're going to need, okay? So um, what you're going to do over here is to load the required libraries, okay? So um, we've talked about we've talked about NumPy, we've talked about Panda. So I believe that you've gone through the previous videos and you've, um, you've, you've practiced the NumPy and the Pandas um, lab exercise and you've gone through the, the, the videos as well. So, um, well, I mean, I, I, I believe that you are well informed about what all these um, libraries do and why we are importing them. All right. So if you've not been, if you've not watched that video, I advise you to watch that before this one. Okay, so we, we are going to use um, a library called NumPy and then Pandas and then Matplotlib for all the visualizations and also um, Seaborn, which is um, built on top of Matplotlib, which is quite I mean, flexible when it comes to visualization. All right, so we're going to use what is called Stats, which is present in um, SciPy. Okay, then we use um, Skill and then Stats, right? So we use that and then we also use um, Square Root, Mean, Val, I mean, if, if, our, if our question requires us to use all these, we are actually going to consider them, right? We will be seeing most of these, most of these in the subsequent, um, in the subsequent class, right? So let's proceed and then see the data set that we're going to work on, right? So we have, um, we have this, this data that I have, I have in my system here. So I have to first load it in order to get access to the data, which we are going to work on, right? So. I have this insurance.csv, which is um, present in my in my in my laptop, right? So in order for me to get it here in the notebook, I'm using pd dot read underscore csv. So pd is the pandas, right? So remember, we don't want to be typing pandas over and over again. So we import um, pandas, then we alias it or short it. I um, mean, in a short form as pd, right? So instead of pd, I could have written here pandas, but I don't want to be writing. Um, pandas over and over again. So I just shorten it to PD. So I'm using PD dot read underscore CSV. Then I'll read my data because I have a dot CSV file, right? If it is dot XL, um, S, right? So if it is SL format, then you actually need to use, um, read underscore SL, right? Read underscore SL over here, right? Well, maybe, I mean, we've talked about it, the various extensions that you can actually do well, I mean in the pandas class or so if you want to see all these all these functions you can refer to the pandas class and you can actually get to know all of them all right so I read my data then I store it in a variable called data right so uh, let me first see the five uh, the first five records right to the first five records that I have so I'm going to use um let me minimize it a bit okay so I'm going to use this um, data dot head right I'm going to use this head function which will help me to see the first um, five rows, right? So the first five rows or the first five records, right? Whether rows or records, uh, they all refer to the same thing. Okay, so that is it. Uh, don't forget it starts from zero. So although it's one, two, three, four, five, you still see four here because it starts from zero. So these are the first five records of our data. All right, so these are the attributes that I said I will be talking about that I will be showing you. So we have age, sex, BMI, children, um, smoker, region, and then charges. Okay, so let's see what these um, these attributes mean. So let's go up. As I said, uh, we will be coming up here to see what they mean. Okay, 
So um, let's see, these are the attribute information, okay? So we have age, which is the age of the primary beneficiary. So um, this, is, this is an insurance company, they have their customers. So some of the information that they've been able to collect with regards to their customers are the ones they've put together for us to actually work on and then um, give, them, give them suggestions as to how they will actually move on uh, forward as, with regards to their customers. All right, so the age is actually the age of the of the primary beneficiary, right? Uh, that have signed up for the insurance, right? And then we have the sex, right? In this case, the insurance contracts are gender, right? So this could be male, or I mean, it could be female, or it could be male. Okay. And then we have the BMI, which is nothing but the body mass index, right? Which provide understanding of the body, the weight that are relatively um, whether high or low, right? So with regards to the uh, height okay so we have we have um we have the bmi also in there then we have the children right so in this case what i mean the number of children of, of these customers are also being recorded right so it could be their their biological children or any dependent right will be regarded as their children okay and then we have um whether the person smokes or not right so this is uh, this this insurance is a regard to smoking right so those who smoke or those who don't smoke we want to actually see um, the charges of these, whether those who smoke will actually pay uh, more hospital bills because if they pay more hospital bills, it's actually going to affect the insurance company, which means they're going to pay more to their beneficiaries, right? But if they don't smoke, right, if they don't smoke, then um, the insurance company is going to benefit from, I mean, what, the, what these subscribers will pay to them, okay? So that's what they actually want to know. So whether they smoke or not is, is a subject that we need to talk about over here. And also the region, right, that's a beneficiary residential area, right? So in this case, with regards to the United States, so we have the north, we have the south, the south, um, southwest, and then north, northwest, okay? And then we have the charges, that's the individual medical cost, okay? So with regards to the smoking, the charges that, that they pay at the hospital, it's, it's of a mat matter of concern over here, all right, which we are going to actually discuss. All right, so that is that is um, a brief overview of the various attributes that we have in our data. Now, over here, um, what we really want to do at the end of the of the project, right, is um, is, is do some exploratory data analysis. That is um, EDA, right, exploratory data analysis to get to get to know. I mean, our data better, right? To to do, I mean, to dive into details um, what our data is represented and trying to tell us and then we also do um we also do some 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 st statistical concept that we've learned so far right so some of the statistical concepts that we were dealing with in the previous videos we're going to actually see them in action in this particular um notebook using um the python language that we, we are using now and then we also perform some hypothesis um testing in this in this specific um notebook okay so we're going to see all of these in action as, as we progress all right, so um, these are some of the things that we will, we will be doing, right? These are some of the things that we'll be doing, right? Um, here's a summary of it, right? So we first imported the libraries, which we have done, and then load our, our data, which we have done, and then do the ADA to check the shape of it, the type of the, the various attributes, whether they are missing values, some of the data points that we're not being able to capture. Then we also do the five number summary, if you remember it from the um from the statistics class that we're dealing with in the previous videos we talk about a five number summary where we have we have the minimum we have the q1 right so we have the the the, me the median here which is also the q2 and then we have the q3 and the maximum right so this is the five number summary one two three four five right so this is what we will be um discussing with, with regards to the five number summary over here and then we check the distribution of um these columns in there we also see some of the skewness in there, right? And then um, we also check the presence of outliers, right? And that uh, some of the distribution of the categorical variables, right? We also check that. And then we also do some pair plot in there. You're going to see all these in action as we progress in this notebook, okay? Then uh, there are some key questions that we would like to actually answer. There are some key questions that we would like to answer. For instance, um, do charges of people who smoke differ significantly from the people who don't smoke? Right? We would like to actually get to know that. And then um, we also like to know, we also like to know, um, does, does, does the BMI of males differ significantly from that of females? Right? Do, is there any significant difference there? We would like to see that. And then is the proportion of smokers significantly different 
I mean, in gender scrub. So remember, we have we have male, and then we have female. So we want to see the proportion with regards to these two genders, and then I mean gender. And then um, we also talk about we also talk about the BMI across women with no children, with one child, and then with two children, right? And then um, we also see this this in actual as we progress. Okay, so um, we will, we will start we will start diving into this into this notebook. So in the next video, that's what we're going to do. So see you in the next video.